Good morning everyone. Today we have our 2005 Grady White Journey 26 foot walk around Cuddy powered with a uh, with twin 150 horsepower Yamaha two, four stroke engines with about 380 hours on them. This is a 258 model. Uh, the boat is in excellent condition. Shows well. Gel coat is in really good shape. After we got a buff and a wax on it, it shows very well. The boat does not come with this trailer that's in the uh, video here, or the pictures. It's a little too small for it. It's a brand new one as well. Uh, we can sell you a brand new trailer since we're a trailer dealer. Venture and Load Ride Trailers. The boat uh, has a lot of creature comforts as well as um, a good factory upgrades, including the factory hardtop, bow pulpit, and windless anchor. Uh, the boat has a fresh coat of bottom paint, as you see. There's no major gel coat issues or dock rash issues or repair areas that I, we are seeing. Try to go down the hall here. Cool feature about this boat is obviously the twin 150 or 300 total horsepower. Most of these boats came with a single 250 yeah, or 225 in some cases, uh, which is just on the slower side, perfectly fine, but uh, this is a nice power package. Counter rotating, four strokes. Up the starboard side. Once again, you know, some of the stickers have some uh, wear right there on both sides. That's easily touched up or replaced if you even care. But it also has hydraulic steering, an integrated swim platform with a walkthrough transom door, which we're coming in here now. Drainable. Uh, cockpit, so it's a self bailing cockpit which comes standard on Grady's. It has a stern shower and a fresh water system. This transom door closes like so. I just got to switch that lever around, but that's a nice feature as well. We'll pull the fish through there or just easily hop on from the pier uh, without climbing over the gunnel. Little cutting board here. Insulated cooler with the drain. This um, seat, stern seat, folds up or down. So if you're taking guests out for the day, you can leave it up for additional seating areas. And you can fold it down if you're out fishing for the day. It's a cool little feature. All the upholstery in the boat has recently been done. As you can see, no sill soft to the touch, no rips or tears. all the way around the cockpit as well as the bench seat. There's access to your pumps and stuff in this door here and batteries. The battery switch, our dual battery switches are right there just like the 282's. No soft spots on the deck. Everything's pretty very firm floor. The hatches are known over the years to sometimes get a little soft. Uh, but it, that's easily fixed as well if you had that issue, which we don't have on this boat. But I'm um, just pointing out some other boats that you may be looking at. Uh, the boat has insulated coolers on both this side, and this should, side should be the live well. Yes, it is. Aerated live well. It could also act as a cooler. It's insulated and has a drain. 
We have, the boat has a full canvas enclosure. Uh, only the front and two side curtains are up currently. Uh, the glass is in perfect condition, recently replaced front curtain, two side curtains, and a back curtain. The back curtain was not replaced, but is in good condition. Very, it's not used as often. Both uh, port and starboard seats, cushions are in excellent condition as well. The previous owner took the um, arm support off both sides for more access. Uh, they were there in the cabin and can be reinstalled very easily. They are the ladder back upgraded seat by Papanet. Has the rod holders on the hard top for additional uh, four of them as well as flush mounted on the gunnels. A nice decent sized walk around as well as the windless anchor with free fall windless anchor. Storage tackle I'm, I'm sorry tackle storage drawers Here's all the accessories. Bennett hydraulic trim tabs, AM FM radio. Boat also comes with a Raymarine C120. Does not have a radar, even though this unit can have a radar. It's a GPS and depth finder. Haven't gone through the unit. You, if you would like to look up all of the C120 it has to offer, just a Google search. But it does work and functions. Digital in digital instrumentation. Uh, both engines have 375 and 376 hours. Tachometers. Uh, Built-in little depth finder here. Fuel management gauge and a speedo gauge. There's your windlass control right there. As we walk through the cabin door uh, to the walk around cuddy, we just uh, open the cabin up here. And headliner shows good. Nice and clean, no musty or mildew staining. Uh, there are the armrests and the additional um, enclosure that goes to the back drop. Here's some additional bow cushions right there. And cushions on top of the, um, that also goes on top of the uh, fish boxes. AM FM radio, although the head plate's not in there. Maybe it's in the boat here somewhere. Either way, the radio will work when you buy it. Inside here we have the enclosed, well it's not an enclosed head, but it's a toilet with a pump out so it goes to a holding tank. That's something you don't have to manually empty yourself. You can take it to um, the fuel pier and ask them to pump it out. Grady manual comes with the boat. It does have a little bit of a, a shore power, so that's probably got a battery charger and the boat. Shore power system as well as a little outlet for working anything you'd like. This folds down for access behind the dash to work on. Nice little uh, 26 foot walk around cutty here guys. We're going to put her in the water and show you how she runs. And then after you watch that, give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.
Alright guys, that's our 2005 Grady White 258 Journey with twin 150s. Don't forget to follow our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. You click in the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube channel, our icon, and you'll automatically subscribe to the channel for the most up to date videos that we post. Our phone number is 443-324-1368 and you can find us on the web at mdboatsales.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the water.